Hi, thanks for your uh, interest in the Learning Design, Innovation, and Technology program. I'm happy to introduce my uh, faculty co-director, Jal Mehta. And Jal, as I think you know, one of the things I, I really enjoyed getting to know you is your terrific books, including one on the uh, history of uh, education reform, and the most recent one on deeper learning, comparing uh, and contrasting different kinds of schools around the country. I thought both were really important contributions to our understanding of, uh, of learning. Thanks, Joe. Uh, and then my co-director is uh, Joe Blatt, who uh, has both done a lot of work with uh, Sesame Street, runs a very successful program in our master's uh, program right now, and uh, is a polymath and has read about everything. So I'm very glad that uh, he has found a little bit of space in his reading brain for, uh, for some things that I've read. So one uh, staple of our program is uh, the core course that we're uh, going to co-teach together. This will be a chance for everybody in LDIT to uh, learn together. The topic of the course is uh, learning design, and we're going to think about learning design across uh, a variety of different settings, uh, in a school, in a museum, in an after-school program, uh, on TV, and so forth. And we're going to think about, like, how do you construct a uh, really effective learning experience across these uh, various mediums? And, uh, you know, I think one of the things exciting about the program is that design is a, is a hot topic across a whole lot of fields within the education sector and actually beyond as well. And the program is going to uh, really try hard to deliver both a lot of concepts that will enable uh, students to uh, do design to create new kinds of uh, learning experiences at all levels. But also um, we have uh, a goal to develop um, dispositions and competencies so that it's both a, a know how to do and a know what, what kind of personal presence to bring to the design uh, process. Uh, things like working in teams, uh, thinking uh, outside the box, uh, trying to uh, bring different uh, particular other disciplines to bear and, and so on. And that's reflected in the key uh, requirements of the program, which ask students to look across uh, a variety of different kinds of design, as well as other um, topics in the education uh, sector. And uh, we give a fair amount of freedom for electives as well. So students can build on the core of the, of the uh, program and add, um, learning, getting, gaining expertise in areas of particular interest to them, be it a certain kind of audience you want to serve or a certain kind of learning you want to uh, uh, help develop. Leaving from this program, you might become uh, an instructional designer, coach, digital learning designer, user experience designer. You might work in professional uh, development, you might work in human relations. Uh, as Joe says, I think um, kind of how to craft learning experiences for people is just a really critical skill uh, going into the 21st century or into the next uh, quarter of the 21st century. And uh, that, that's what we're trying to prepare you. Yeah, and John, I love what you said about uh, your and my uh, work in the classroom, but also uh, outside. I think it's important to me, and I know it is to you, that we're really uh, passionate uh, practitioners of design ourselves in as many ways as we can get our, our hands on it. And of course, the program is not just us. Uh, you know, we're, we're here to represent it as the faculty co-directors, but we have a dozen or more uh, colleagues at the Ed School who are also um, uh, both uh, thinkers and practitioners of, of design. Um, I'm thinking of Tina Grotzer, for example, who knows how to bring uh, insights from cognitive science uh, to uh, the practice of, of uh, design, uh, like Eric Shedd, who's uh, a model of, uh, of, um, teach, uh, of a teacher who thinks design in terms of curriculum. So a lot of different kinds of skills among our, our colleagues. So part of what we're going to help you do is help you sort of re-envision what it means to create uh, powerful learning uh, experiences and think about how they can be distributed across as many settings as possible. That's terrific, Joel. And, and, and just building very briefly on that, if you think about uh, learning in the expansive way you just described it, it starts to, I get excited about all the ways that we can uh, uh, help children, young people, actually learners of any age, uh, continue to do that after school 
in informal settings, whether those settings are uh, the media that are so much part of our lives uh, every day now, or face-to-face uh, -face settings designed for uh, informal learning like um, museums or, or theater, let's say, or uh, and uh, informal and settings that are not designed for informal learning, but can become so. Like one of my favorites is shopping malls, which can be uh, you know wonderfully illuminating places about sociology, about economics, about how the world works in various ways. So those are things that you and I are going to keep thinking about. And that's what we're engaged in. I don't know whether you and I will be looking at each other in rectangles like this um, in the fall or face-to-face uh, -face in classrooms at the uh, on the Ed School campus. But either way, I'm really looking forward to teaching with you and really looking forward to um, some of the people who are listening uh, join us uh, for as students in the new uh, Learning Design, Innovation, and Technology program. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for watching. Thank you, John.